That might actually be worth something. Hey guys, welcome back to the Druid's Den. Uh, just got my magnet fishing gear in the mail, so I wanted to make a video and take you guys out with me for my first time using it. All right, here we go. So these old ruins are right by my place. Um, my house is just right over here. You can see it. Um, but yeah, these are from sometime I think like the 1800s. I've rebuilt a little bit like this wall, both these walls and a little bit in the back wall have been rebuilt a little bit, but I'm still gonna actually cement them together and everything. But yeah, just the fact that this whole building is right here um, leads me to believe that we might have some luck with magnet fishing um, in the nearby cow pond so I'm gonna head down that way and check that out real quick all right myself in there all right that should be enough all right okay. I feel it catching something already that didn't take long, did it? Or am I crazy? I don't know. Just leaves and sludge, that's all. Nothing metal found.
nothing yet, I don't think. Just more mud. Okay, well, I've been out here for a little while now, not having much luck, haven't found anything. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to move a little ways over because actually there's a, uh, just right over this ridge here. Let me show you. Right over here we've got the creek. You can't quite see it, but right past the end of it. Let me see. Right around here and down through here we got a, a creek running. So I'm going to head up the road here and start up there. See how that goes. Alright, here we go. Hey guys. You know any good spots to do some magnet fishing? Oh, 26 might now. What do you think? What do you think, 26? What's the news? Where's the guy supposed to find some metallic objects here, huh? Hello. <laughs> okay. Back to magnet fishing. See you guys later. Some sort of animal's house right here, probably. Uh, I'm or a possum, something like that. That's what I see often around here, so it would make the most sense. You see, we got this no dumping sign, some bullet holes, a number of bullet holes in it. It's always fun. Okay, finally arriving at our destination. See how this creek is looking. <sighs> Rough. That's how it's looking. This side could potentially have better luck, but I gotta be careful. Just a lot of mud and weeds. A lot of mud and weeds so far. Not a thing, just sludge and slime. No metal, not a single piece of metal yet. Here, look, here we go. Well, that's discouraging. Bunch more seaweed. I 
I'm just gonna kind of poke around down here. Hmm. Well, I'm not finding anything magnetic, but I may have just found another form of gold. That might actually be worth something. Now these old Coca-Cola bottles can get you good money. So that might actually be worth something. Alright, well, not a not a find I found with the magnet, but a find nonetheless. Cool. Well, I'm a little bummed. I wasn't able to find anything magnet fishing, but I, I am happy that I at least found this Coca-Cola bottle here. Um, it's not like super old or anything. Um, I did a little research and I found out that if you actually look along this right here, you can see two numbers dash another number here and that these first two numbers are the year. So it's actually 66 so this is a coca-cola bottle from 1966 which is still pretty fun you know it's like not the most amazing find but pretty cool um but yeah since i didn't show or since i wasn't able to find anything man fishing i figured i would at least share some of what i found in the ruins back over here so uh, let me go grab that for starters we've got this we just found a lot of a lot of little metal pieces and that we think that maybe the ruins actually had a metal roof at one point some old nails um, one of the things that i thought was the coolest thing that we found is this piece of a bottle right here incredibly sharp um it says b period b period on the bottom um, the only thing that I could find that would have fit that for it being this type of glass bottle was a company from Baltimore um, that was from, I think it was like 1845 to 1905. Um, and that fits the, the, the time of the ruins, I think, pretty well. So pretty cool. That's one of my favorites. Um, but we also got a lot of stuff here. Let's see, we've got... We got a bunch of charcoal that was in the fireplace in there. I, that was really neat to me. Um, the fireplace was completely covered, and so we dug it out and found found this charcoal. Um, a metal piece that looked like maybe it was part of a, a lock or something at one point. I'm not sure what that is. Um, just more nails, pieces, more metal. I actually found a lot of glass, too, and if you can't tell, it actually had some sort of like iridescent like material on it that like was peeling off i don't know how old that is kind of crazy and lastly there's like this uh oh it was made from some sort of metal like maybe like brass or something i don't know what it is but i think it was maybe an o or a zero for a sign that was on the the house or building at one point you know, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and come back and watch future videos. All right. Thank you.